Hey everyone, Nick from Ellos back with another Ellos maintenance video. Today we're going to talk about how to switch out your bushings and your kingpin in your trucks. And to help me out is Ellos founder, Tom. Hey, hello everyone. All right. What are the basic reasons that we need to switch out our bushings or our kingpin on a board? There are a couple of reasons. Say, if you have a cheaper board or simply your, your bushing just broke, so then you need to replace a new one. Um, with a better bushing, you have better turn, better handling, and then a softer bushing will get you easier to turn, so uh, your board wouldn't be as stiff as how it was. Mm -hmm. All right, so better maneuverability, or I just want to replace out the cheap. Now, here we have the actual ELO set of bushings, where I get two bushing, two end caps, and a kingpin. Right. But I've heard that there's different types of kingpins. Can you talk to me a little bit about what I should look for when replacing the kingpin specifically? Sure, Nick. There are mostly two types of kingpin you can see in a longboard truck. Mm -hmm. One that has the hex. No. So like the normal bolt hex at the top. Right. And the other one has kind of just like a circular mm -hmm. um, end. And it looks kind of more like this one. So it has this kind of like spine in here to hold it in place, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So if you have this type, then um, the bad news is it's hard to replace. <laughs> Yeah. For this type, I actually need like a hydraulic press or a whole lot of manpower to get in and out, right? <laughs> right, right, right. But with this, is I can just basically use tools in my workshop and my house. Right. So for today's purposes, since we're just switching out the easier kingpin, I actually brought the Ello skate tool. Right. Handy but tool. I think you said that with the 916's wrench or a 14 millimeter wrench, I can do the same things, right? Right, right, right. Just any household wrench would do the same thing. So let's talk about how do we disassemble the truck. Because we can use this one as an example. So mm -hmm. first of all, you want to get your tool. Either it's the household wrench or a T-tool. By loosening the nuts on the top, this one is already loosened, so it's very easy to turn. Like a lot of time you might have to like really work <laughs> on that to loosen the truck. working out while make you're sure at you home. Have, make sure you have breakfast. <laughs> so after you remove the, the bolt, there are a couple parts. There's a smaller washer, and there is a cone bushing, and then take apart the hanger. You might want to push the kingpin here and there just a bit, so you have more wiggle room. Like that, and here is your barrel bushing. It's kind of hard to see, but you can see this is the kingpin right here, and this mm -hmm. is the barrel bushing, and towards the top, the end of it has a... Uh, end cap washer, right? Exactly. Okay. Yeah. So I'm just uh, remove all the parts so you can see clearly. <clears throat> like that. Alright, so with everything laid back out, then I'm basically switching out my two types of bushing, my two end caps. Right? Mm -hmm. Now, I got my brand new set, I got my brand new kingpin, how do we put it back together? So to put it back together, it's uh, just gonna follow the exact step, but reverse, mm -hmm. in reverse. So I would just uh, uh, make sure you use the bigger bigger uh, cap washer mm -hmm. and go along with your barrel bushing. And the smaller one with a smaller washer, All right. just kind of like line it up and have your hanger. Mm -hmm. Make sure the hanger is facing the right direction. Usually the part that has the logo face out. Face out. In this case, Ellis also has this little lip here and this faces in towards my base plate, right? Exactly. All right. So you just kind of like put it in there, like squeeze it in, so it goes into this pivot point. Mm -hmm. Now, I've got this basically assembled together except for my kingpin. I've seen a kingpin go both directions. So I think you have your kingpin with my hexagonal going from the bottom side through. Mm -hmm. But I've also seen people do it from the top down. What's the difference there? The difference is it's a little bit harder to assemble it from the top down. But uh, what you get is a much cleaner assembly. Mm -hmm. Like the, the threads are not going to protrude out very long from your truck, which might actually hurt your hand if mm -hmm. your hand just like accidentally scratch it or something. Another tip is before you start to 
force your uh, pimping through the hole. Mm -hmm. Kind of just visually look through the hole to make sure things are somewhat lined up. The tightness is kind of up to you. If you want it to be harder to turn, then mm -hmm. you will be turning it inward a lot more. Mm -hmm. But if you want it to be a little bit easier to turn, then um, the rule of thumb is to keep it to have two threads visible right here, mm -hmm. so it wouldn't be all the way flush. Um, if it's flush, then it doesn't have any wiggle room later down. Say if it starts to loosen it up, then uh, it might fall apart, which right. is not really fun. So even if I want to carve a bit, I need to leave at least two threads, and that's a, a safely loose feeling. But right. if I want that more stable, then I can tighten it a little farther. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think I got mine pretty effectively together. Didn't take much more than like five minutes with a few <laughs> household tools. We hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you're looking for our Elos bushings, the links are below, and join us in the future for more basic board maintenance videos. See you guys next time!